hi all let us solve some other numericals based on the non stick question different kinds sir already appeared in the previous year examinations of vtu number 6 the emf of a cell mg slash mg2 plus of concentration 0.01 double slash cu2 plus of c1 concentration slash cu is measured to be 2.78 volts at 298 kelvin the standard electrode potential of magnesium electrode is minus 2.371 volts calculate the electrode potential of copper electrode this is a different kind of problem we have so answer the first one is let us write the anode reaction and cathode reaction anode reaction is magnesium undergo oxidation to give mg2 plus plus 2 electron cathode reaction copper gets reduced that is cu2 plus ion accepts two electron and gets converted into copper cu the formula e of mg equals e not of mg plus 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of mg2 plus e mg equals the e not of mg is given in the problem it is 0 minus 2.371 volts i am substituting the same value here in the place of e not of that is standard electrode potential of magnesium it is minus 2.317 plus 0.0591 divided by 2 that is n value is 2 here because electrons are 2 here involved in the reaction log of mg2 plus concentration is also given here in the problem in the beginning 0.01 that i written here on simplification of the above step here e of mg equals minus 2.317 minus 0.0591 so and hence the potential of magnesium electrode is minus 2.429 volts by using this uh, e of mg let us calculate e not of the cell so e not of the cell equals e not of cathode minus e not of anode here cathode is copper anode is magnesium and therefore if we substitute the value of the copper and magnesium in the above formula we will get 2.78 which is the potential e not cell it is also a given value the beginning uh, problem it has given here 2.78 volts equals e not of copper that we have to calculate we don't know that minus e not of magnesium that we got it in the previous step minus 2. Four to nine. That I have substituted here. For the simplification, it gives E not copper equals that is I have to take this outside. So then it becomes two point seven eight minus two point four to nine, and at the end we will get the standard electrode potential of a copper is zero point three five zero nine volts. Zero nine volts. This is how we have to calculate the electrode potential of standard electrode potential of one electrode with the help of the given another electrode potential value we'll move to another problem number 7 write the cell representation cell reactions and calculate the standard emf of a nickel silver cell if e not of nickel and e not of silver are minus 0.25 volts and 0.8 volts respectively first let us go to the cell representation this is the cell representation ni slash ni2 plus Double slash Ag plus slash silver. Cell represent reactions. Anode reaction is oxidation. That is nickel undergo oxidation to give nickel two plus plus two electrons. Cathode reaction. That is silver undergo reduction to Ag plus plus two electron gives two Ag. Overall cell reaction Ni plus two Ag plus gives Ni two plus plus two Ag. the formula to calculate the e not cell e not cell equals e not cathode minus e not anode as given in the previous step here cathode is a silver nickel is a anode and therefore the formula becomes e not cell equals e not of silver minus e not of nickel the give, they have given the value of e not silver e not nickel here let us substitute those values in the above formula we get E not cell equals 0.8 minus of minus 0.25 as given in the problem. So for the simplification of the above step, we will get the final answer. E not cell equals 1.05 volts. This is what 
the standard emf of the cell e not cell equals 1.05 now we'll move to the another one number 8 calculate the emf of cadmium copper cell in which cadmium is in contact with 0.002 molar cadmium sulfate and copper in contact with 0.02 molar copper sulfate solution the standard emf of the cell is 0.74 volt at 298 kelvin the formula the famous one uh, the previously used uh, well known formula e equals e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log cathodic species divided by anodic species cathode is a copper anode is a cadmium here and therefore i just substituted the copper 2 plus in the place of cathodic species cadmium 2 plus in the place of anodic species further let us substitute the e not value and n value and concentration of cu2 plus cadmium 2 plus as given in the problem that is e equals 0.74 plus 0.0591 divided by 2 log concentration of 0.02 divided by concentration of 00 0.002 so further simplification will get the next step e equals 0.74 plus 0.0591 divided by 2 log 10 because this ratio becomes 10 here log 10 further e equals 0.74 plus 0.02955 because log 10 make 1 i think so divide 0.0591 divided by 2 it becomes 0.02955 and hence addition of these two will give the e that is emf of this cell e equals 0.7 Six nine five volts. This is how we have to calculate.